Shalom Aluka to everyone. This is Abdul speaking today. I'm here to speak here to speak about Christianity. To let everyone know that Christianity is known as paganism religion in the world. It came from for Rome. It made for Rome. That everyone know, and some of y'all might not. And I'm gonna speak you know the, about it today and that crown that I'm showing in front of you is a crown for Rome that they use from Caesar Augusta head and Alexander the Great head Julius Caesar head and the whole family of the yard the whole nine yard that you see and they are the first one known as the what the the top Roman empires and all that that have been traveled around around the world and you know that traveled around Asia, Israel, all the way to Canaan, you know, known as Africa what they call it today, and all over the place. Now, you wanna understand why the the uh the Persians was having a war war with Caesar um not Caesar Augusta having a war with Alexander the Great. And you know, Alexander the Great made this religion called Hellenism. He's the first one. And then it passed on to Caesar Augusta, and Caesar Augusta made the word Christian. To give you pretty much aware to explain, you can also check on in your Bible, also check on Acts chapter chapter eleven. All of you could read the whole whole word whole verse. Be free to. All the way through you can also check on Acts chapter 11 verse 26 it's telling you right there and um, as I'm going to show you these pictures and I'm going to rephrase it to you and I'm going to show you everyone little by step but it all came from wise paganism we also have Alexander the Great he's the one He's the only one known as the the pagan. He started off, and also y'all was reading from from Acts, not from Acts. Um, called Maccabees, where they talk about him, and it's missed out on y'all the Bible and some of y'all in the Bible and all that, and um, to describe it to let you know to understand it. They already explained because they're the first one came and changed Judah to be a Christian. That's why they got everybody say, hey, you know, you no longer know that's the Jew. And they don't claim colored people as Jew no more. They claim colored people is known as Christian. And we are not known as Christian. We are known as Hebrew. And we are the real Judah and we are the tribes. Them like Alexander the Great and Caesar Augustus, they don't have no tribe. And I will tell you, the, they don't have no tribes. They are known as clans. And yes, they do travel to Egypt and all that. And yes, they do travel. They do travel. And that's Alexander the Great. As I show you the coins, and it's, it's, that's him. As you can see, he's not the colored person. But I'm not using it to, to uh, force the discrimination I use for discrimination. It's just being honesty is true. A lot of y'all call him Caucasian. A lot of y'all call him uh, a white man. But he's an Edom. He's an Edomite. But, um... He started off, he's the first one to start off hellism, paganism, religion. He learned a lot from Egypt. And yes, he did. He learned a lot from them. And he went different places also. And he's the only one in Rome. He was the first Roman Empire at all. And then he passed on to his kids called hellism. 
And you know, hellism involved with, 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 with Christianity. They're the first paganism made the title called Christianity. That's why they changed it called Christianity. Because, you know, Caesar Augustus had to come up with a title called Christian. But um, as we know, it's called, well, if you check on Acts, it said, it said, it said, and, 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 ton, and ton it, but it's spelled like A N T I O C H. If I say the name wrong, all right, I know I'm wrong with the, with the name because I'm not good at the pronunciation, but I know I could pronounce it in Aramaic. I'm going to pass on, and now we're going to go. I have to continue on to then then Alexander the Great had had Caesar Caesar Augusta as he's known he's known in the Bible if you check on the chapter of Rome you know everybody to see him and coming in. As you look at him, you, he look real Jewish, huh? But he's not. He's not a Jew. He's a Roman. You're looking at a real Christian in front of you. That's the real Christian you see. He started that organization, the Christian. But also, he was known as Hellenism too. He started off with the paganism. <clears throat> Belief. And he's the first one that had this made the cross, right? And I'm gonna show you a picture, but not this one. The cross here that you see in your church all the time. A lot of people go to church and they say, hey, you know, we're going to church to 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 worship the cross. You know, Jesus died on the cross, yes. We could say Yahshua. Yes, it's true, Yahshua was on the cross and died on the cross. He was crucified. Because, you know, to let you know that Yahshua didn't use Christianity, he speaking Judaism. He speaking Judaism to the world because Judaism was not known as no, no religion. And he speaks it out there, and that's why he automatically he has his own group called the you know, disciples. And he had all of them. And he teaches his disciples. And he speaks Judaism. A lot of people think Yahshua is doing for the Christian or word Christian. No. He do it for the Judah, the whole 12 tribes, the whole nine yards you know. I know that's Hebrew or Israelites or Judah. There was no, that's why he was speaking in uh, Judaism. That they call it today, Judaism. That they took it <laughs> and give it to us to be known as Christian. Colored people are known as not known as Christian. Y'all was known as Hebrew. So let's get it straight. Let's be for real. And uh, the cross that you see in church every day, that's the cross you see when everybody go to church every day. We learn the word of God, and we learn the word the real truth about Yeshua, but the problem is, the only thing they ain't tell y'all, that y'all was known as, y'all was known as the real Judah. Y'all was known as Hebrew. Y'all was known as Israelites. Y'all were the real true tribes. But the church, you know, I'm not, I'm not knocking y'all Christians out and nothing like that. I'm just revealing to y'all to give you a phrase. Everything you, everything you learn in church, you learn is Rome. You learn nothing about Rome. It's Rome, but they mix it up with Yahshua words in them. See, that's how everything's confusion be kick in. But um, now, if you see this cross, 
you know, you know, you know, Caesar Augusta put that crossway to start off with crucial vision. And it came from, as you look at Egypt, you see, you see Egypt cross here. You see? And Egypt is the first one to start off with, you know what I'm saying, with, with voodooism and all that. Because they was, <laughs> they was the first, they was the, what, first pagan? Egypt? Everybody know about Pharaoh. And you be wondering why Pharaoh do sacrifice and all that. And spirituality and musician and sorcerers. Ain't no different than Hellism. Because that's what Alexander the Great got it from. Got it from them. And learned from them. And put, turn it around to his own belief. As you know, yes, I could say Edomites was under Egypt during that time, yes. Y'all was known as strangers. And Gentile. But a lot of y'all so-called Caucasian, but I say, well, we are the Gentile. Okay. We are not Gentiles. Hebrew are not Gentile. Hebrew is the definition. Hebrew is the person of people of color. In the real language we speak is Aramaic. We don't speak Greek and we don't speak Rome. That's why a lot of them don't realize in the words already speak to itself. You also have some don't speak Aramaic. That's when Paul step in the picture and let everybody know he's a Hebrew. He ain't go out there and say, hey, he's a Christian. But in the word, actually he did win, you know, um, to them. to try to help to um, explain with his words. And also, you know, Christianity's got like, you know, a lot of organization with their names. Go go nas or go or G G no nas can't pronounce it. But um as the title you see over here It came from them in Rome and all that is paganism that you see. But I show the picture to you. Paganism. Start off with word Christianity. And also you have you also have this uh Christianity is in the uh, Bible. Is in now. They all came from. They all came from Rome. They all came from Rome. Is involved with Rome. And Arab. They give you a like. They give you an understanding. The language Aramaic is not really came from. It's not came from Rome. It came from Israel. And we don't speak like like how you see those uh those uh Hasidic uh Jews were speaking, what they call it? That they call themselves Hasidic Jews and, and Sarah Sarah. That they say they are the the chosen, unquote. No. Let's be honest. They don't speak Aramaic. They speak Yiddish. And they use it, the Aramaic, to flip it to their side to say, hey, you know what? We're going to use this writing as Aramaic, but it's no. The way how you see the, uh, the Jewish writing where they use the word called Hebrew today, 
it's not used for that. It's Aramaic is the whole different different level of writing. And they also use Aramaic in church, right, in, uh, in Syria to this day, that they are uh, call, called Syria Christians, and they speak Aramaic. I have to say congratulations on that one, but um, for respect, by respect, we call it, um, at least they let you know they speak uh, Aramaic, that Yeshua speak Aramaic. That's the good thing about it. And Christianity also passed on, you know, as I was saying, with Caesar Augusta and Sarah. In every church you see. You remember I showed you what the cross, the part? Do you remember the Kuka clan? You see it carry on, it carry on to them. All that carry on with with Caesar Augusta and Alexander the Great and Julius Caesar and Sarah, especially so on. And then if you look at the you look at the Kuka clan, you see the And look at what they wear. Take a good look. If you check out the old days in Rome, and you look at them, and you see them, what do you see? You see them cover their face. All right, but look at the costume real good. During that time, if you look at the old days in Rome, they had one like that during a long time ago, where they was riding horse, and they called the they called them. They call themselves, they used to be called themselves the Knight Templar. And they pass on, they ride horses and all the carry on, and they was right there, right there during Rome and all that. In Egypt. Not in Egypt, uh, forgive me. In Europe. <laughs> in Rome, yes. And the Knight Templar used to be look like this. The same, the same, the same design you see. Ain't no different when you look at that picture today. You see how things changed and pass on throughout the year. And they was known as Christians. See? They got the cross, they got everything. They was known as Hellism. And those, they call them chariots. The night tempers, chariots. They're the ones that's known as police to this day. Army, soldiers, military, all of them. And don't think they don't be praying. Pray to who? But see, they always carry this. They always carry the the hellation called called um the way they call the globalists with the with the um the nation United Nation. That's the word. And they use that. That let you know it's owned by Caesar Augusta to this day. And you know who could give orders? The Pope. The Pope give orders to this day. And you see him. And you see it pass on too also. Remember what would I scribe about Esau? And I'm going to show you that timeline to describe it.
right? 